171 votes, huh? Four years, four terms ago. Uh, thank you. Um, I really am overwhelmed. I knew this was going to be a tough race. Um, formidable candidate, the Democratic Party, the local state, put a lot of time and money in. Um, but uh, I understand uh, we hung on to the council, and uh, Rick McQuaid is our new town. Other than he, I'm the first mayor to ever win four consecutive terms. And, uh, that is very humbling, but also very rewarding. All of you have been with me through all of these campaigns. You didn't just show up on election night, you showed up on election day, you showed up on the times before that. You have been with me. You are part of me, part of my family. You always will be. I have no other desire, no higher office. I have the best job that any one person can ever have. As mayor is one of the greatest cities in the country today, and I am so proud of that. Uh, I will say that Annie Garfunkel has served this community well as town clerk. He ran a positive campaign, he told what he felt, and I respected him, and our debates were civil, and we did something that many other campaigns in this country should try to emulate. Talk about what you can do, not what the other person doesn't do all the time. And uh, I appreciate his, his effort. I really do. I am very fortunate today that my family is with me. Of course, Barbara, all the kids. And I'm so happy that my grandkids are here to see them. Tyler, my in-law, Marianne and George, you have been fantastic. You are not in-laws. I love you all. And, and to Melinda and my favorite son-in-law, who's my only son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> and Rob, Suzanne, and Ed, and the, the tribe down in Virginia, uh, Lori and all of them. Uh, they send me emails. I, I, I've been so blessed to have all these first round draft picks. I'm you, uh, I've been so lucky. And I will tell you something else. And I probably haven't said this in the past, but for elected officials here, and we all know the sacrifices the family makes. And this person next to me has probably made more sacrifices over the last few years than any one person should have to. And she is my driving force. She keeps me humble. She reminds me she's a taxpayer in the city. <laughs> and that's the best life any person can have. For us. So I'm going to let you continue to party. But again, into the voters of Norwalk. Thank you again for having a confidence in me. And to those who didn't vote for me. I hope you believe that all my efforts were based honestly, and we've never had a, a hint of scandal in this city through any administration, and we will keep it that way. We always have and we always will be. 
Democrat, Republican, Independent. They have maintained the honor of the office of mayor, and that will continue for the next two years, I promise you. on the block. I do not live in Stanford. And to Pike Bishop, I know who you are. John Cotter, I know who you are. And the old timer, I really know who you are. Here's my word for you, all of your innuendos, your lies that you put on the blogs with anonymous names. You lose!